Hello to my carnivore family. Today marks a significant day for me and my carnivore journey. It has been five months slash 150 days since I said no more. 150 days ago, I told myself I wasn't going to be trapped by being overweight and addicted to sugar and carbs and all the sweets and everything. 150 days ago, I decided I was going to change my life for the better. Five months ago, I had no clue that I would be as successful on this diet or way of eating as I have been. You see, I've been on plenty of diets all throughout my life, ranging from just fasting or what, before I knew what fasting was, I just starved myself. I bought plenty of different products to try to have a cool diet or something. I remember one was called Isogenics. It was pretty much fasting, but with like drinking some Kool-Aid or something. I was plant-based vegan, did a potato diet for a while, keto, which was all right, but I couldn't stick to it. When I say I couldn't stick to it, I mean, I'd literally one bite of something would just throw me out and I could not come back. I tried calorie counting quite a few times. I, I don't know how many times I just plugged in every calorie, weighed every grape, no success. But somehow I was able to make this Weird decision to primarily eat meat, beef, butter, bacon, and eggs. Total opposite of what you hear is healthy. Somehow, I was convinced to make the decision to give it a shot. I committed to 90 days, and we're still here going strong 150 days later. I know before I started the diet, I was really nervous. I was really concerned. I probably took two or three months of watching videos, trying to convince myself that the carnivore diet is not good for you. I watched all kinds of videos talking about cholesterol, talking about heart disease, talking about too much protein, all how the fat's gonna hurt you, not getting vitamin C, not getting all the nutrients you need. And all the videos that I was able to find by all of these different doctors were like, no, they, they, the world has it all wrong. This is the natural way that humans are supposed to eat. Somehow I was convinced that's where all this started. I remember times when I would do a diet and me and my wife would go on a date and we'd have the appetizers come out and I'm like, I'm gonna stick to this diet. She would say, oh, just give yourself a little treat, it's okay. Knowing myself, I knew I shouldn't, but I'd do it. I'd have a bite and the bite would turn into a whole meal and the meal would turn into the whole day, the whole weekend, the whole month. And then I was full blown gaining all my weight back. I have had similar experiences during this 150 days of carnivore diet, but throughout this five months, 150 days, I'm saying it kind of a lot, aren't I? I'm just excited about reaching the mile marker. I haven't been stuck and not able to come back to the diet. On my 90th day, I purposely ate some watermelon. I was able to get right back to everything I was doing. At some point around 120 days or so, I had a bit of a cheat day. I went off the rails for the day, but I came right back the very next day. And then back around Mother's Day time, we went out to a nice restaurant. They had grilled pineapple. I decided to give it a shot. The grilled pineapple did not agree with my body, but it was easy for me to get back on track. So it's pretty cool the way the diet works. A lot of people talk about how the cravings for carbohydrates and food that's bad for you goes away. And they're right, I st but I still occasionally want to experiment. I do remember what the thing tasted like and I remember it tasted good. So occasionally I'll indulge, but I don't have that same issue that I used to have. So that's one big benefit of the carnivore diet compared to all diets I've ever been on is that I don't have this desire to keep indulging and not be able to come back. Number two big result, from my peak of weight of 272 pounds, I'm now down to 195 pounds, which is just short of 80 pounds, and just one pound short of being at the ideal body mass index BMI ranking. I'm pumped about my newfound body composition, health, fitness, all the stuff put together. I'm pumped. I'm not losing as much weight today on a daily basis as I was when I first started, but I think that's because I'm to a healthy weight now. I'm not super six packy and all, but I do have some definition in my abdomen area and I hope to show it off soon. Another cool benefit that maybe it doesn't apply specifically to the carnivore diet, but I found that I haven't needed to work out in order for this diet to work for me.
I've lost plenty of weight, kept plenty of muscle, and I haven't worked out but maybe 10 times the whole time I've been on this diet. And when I say worked out, I don't really mean like a full like hour, two hours at the gym. I'm spending 15 minutes doing a couple exercises in the gym or maybe going on a walk for half an hour. I've had quite a few odd medical adjustments. I recently did a video talking about how my acid reflux has gone from me and I don't need to take any medications for that. Blood pressure has been going down. Snoring stopped. Gas, none. Except for I drink carbonated water so I'll burp. Joint pain. I know it's weird to think or say this, but I don't know how to explain it any differently, but more clearer thoughts. For my day job, I run a business. There's 10 different department heads. And so all throughout the day, there's all sorts of different issues or concerns or questions or problems to be solved. I don't have a problem trying to think of a solution or figuring out how to get to the solution, figuring out what details I need. And while I do kind of have that brain and mindset about things, Today, my brain works a whole lot smoother, faster, and more powerful than it used to. It's weird. People talk about how being on the carnivore diet or being in ketosis does that to you. I never really thought it was true, but now reflecting on the past few months, I think it's true. Also, mood. My mood is different. I'm happier. I don't think I'm as grumpy as I used to be. Energy is much higher. Uh, just even doing this YouTube channel, I've been on this 30 day challenge of uploading a video every single day for 30 days. And I make the video the night before it uploads at 7 a.m. Eastern time. And some nights I have to stay up until two o'clock in the morning. And then I get up at six to get ready for work. But I haven't missed a day and today's like day 25, I think. So to be able to do this long term, have very little sleep and still be energetic, like even right now as it's 11 o'clock at night, I feel pretty good because of it. I'm not sure if I mentioned joint pain, but you know, while I'm not that old, I'm getting close to 40 and the military kind of put a beating on some of my joints, depending on what I was doing. But my back and my joints, they don't feel like they used to. They used to have more pain. I used to have a harder time getting out of bed in the morning or uncrossing my legs while I sat there and watched TV. I don't have that same experience anymore, which is awesome. I did when I ate some pineapple, it came back a bit, but it went away again. I think it has something to do with inflammation. I hear a lot that a meat diet or a really low carb diet is anti-inflammatory. It's like a non-inflammation type of diet. So um, I'm not, a, I'm just a regular dude. I don't know a lot about science, but you can take it for what it's worth. One of the more fun things that's happened to me over the past month or so is that people that have known me and have seen me and before I started on the diet are now noticing that I've made big changes and that it shows in my body. They saw me look one way, and then now me looking this way. They've been giving me compliments. They've been calling me names like, hey, Slim, which I don't know if they think that's an insult or not, but to me, if I'm looking slim, even if they're saying I'm looking too skinny because I've been overweight for so long, me hearing slim or skinny or string bean or whatever they want to call me, it makes me feel good. Honestly, I think here in America, people are so used to seeing everybody be overweight that me being at the top of the body mass index chart for normal actually looks skinny here where I'm from. I still feel like I have a bit of ways to go for me to be happy because I really want that real trim, fit, toned body. But that's where the next phase comes in. I want to set some challenges for myself to get more active and see what we can develop. I know how to get active and get fit and trim. When I was in the military, I was a physical training leader for some time. So I learned about exercise and how to keep yourself from getting injured and things, but I haven't been doing it. And there's a difference between knowing something and doing something. And that's where I want to talk to you right now. And that's to challenge you. You watch this far into this video, which means either you've been following me for a little bit and watching a lot of my videos and you're excited for me to reach my 150 days and maybe you're close to the 150 days now. But if you're somebody that's just watching this video because you're like I was, when I hadn't started the diet and I was considering the diet, but I was too skeptical and scared of it, I wanna give you a, a challenge and encourage you to just do it. If you're in bad health right now, I don't see, and this is what I thought to myself, I don't see how doing something that is scary, that could potentially make your health bad, is any worse than what you're already doing. If you're already in bad health, how can doing something that could make you in bad health be any worse than doing what you're already doing because the thing you're doing right now is already putting you in bad health.
And if I keep talking about this, it's really going to get us confused. So I better stop and just move on to the next point. I know I was confused because I kept kind of feel like I was going in circles. The real big message I want to get out with this video is just to say, wow, I really didn't think that this was something that would work. I was desperate and I just wanted to find something that would work for me. And if you're like me and you've been trying a bunch of different things and you haven't found something that works, I have a feeling this is it. Like my brother even started it. Actually, it was just like not even a week ago. He did like a 48 day fast. After he came off the fast, he went to carnivore. He called me up and he said, bro, my blood pressure's up and I'm feeling kind of faint. What do I do? I Googled it real quick because I'm like, why did you call me? <laughs> what am I supposed to know? I Googled it real quick and I said, oh, it says that you're probably dehydrated and should get some salt. He took a pinch of salt. Moments later, he said he was feeling better. So I do need to tell you, I am not the science medical guy, but I do also have to say that the information that you're looking for is here. There are so many people, so many more YouTube channels, there are doctors, so many resources that talk about the carnivore diet. So many people sharing their results. It's, it can't be ignored. You gotta look at what everybody's saying. I don't have any financial benefit right now to tell you this works. I'm not trying to sell you this little pill. Someday maybe we'll do something, like come out with some shirts or something. But I'm just some dude making YouTube videos, seeing if I can help other people and potentially grow a YouTube audience. But I can make videos about anything. My expertise is not in being a carnivore. My expertise is in marketing and sales and internet stuff. It's definitely not in video production. <laughs> We've kept it pretty simple for the past month or so. But I am at the beginning stages of trying to grow something and put together a community where we could potentially have a bunch of carnivores in one place, all supporting each other and giving each other answers to questions that we have. And the first step of doing that is I created a free ebook. You get access to that. There's a link in the description. You can find it there. It talks about getting started on the carnivore diet. With that being said, some of my earliest videos were talking about my 30 day, 90 day, and 100 days being on the carnivore diet. I feel like things have gotten better since then, like I'm talking on camera a little better, or um, maybe the imagery looks a little better, but I don't want you to judge me. I want you to go back and check out those videos. I'm gonna put that right, I'm gonna put the 30 day right here, and then you can follow up and we'll check out the 90 and the 100 day after that. I send you the 30 because it makes more sense. But please subscribe if you haven't, and I will see you in the next video, probably tomorrow. Take care.